Hello, Roger Mukalele here from Shiabita Uganda e-learning. I'm continuing with the series on uh, computer studies UNEB 2022 computer studies. I have already done a database and the Excel numbers and uh, you can be able to find them on the shareability YouTube channel. When you go to YouTube, type Shabita Uganda e-learning and then you'll be able to reach this YouTube channel. You'll be able to find the other numbers that I'm doing. And uh, today I'm going to be doing uh, the number for web design. I've seen a number of teachers asking that we can also look at web design. Yesterday I asked which other numbers should I work on. Now when I look at this year, uh, the web design number was actually very simple and these are the reasons why I normally tell teachers not to ignore some packages you might ignore and find that database maybe is tricky and uh, you find that learners don't have an option but if they have learned web design they can also try it out this web design number was very very simple it required learners to do four numbers and uh, it was saying that a company wishes to develop a website for its hotel Use a web authoring software. Design a website of four pages for the hotel as follows. The home page, uh, hotel name, motto, contact address, uh, the employees page, include uh, a table of employees and their contacts. Okay. So the home page just has content like paragraphs. Okay. And then a list. Then the second employees page has a table. Then the booking page has a form and it required the learners to do a form uh, which has these items and then uh, this other page required the learners to come include names of hotel branches in other areas they could use any element that they need and then the question asked to create active links to the entire website background color relevant graphics and uh, a logo and uh, that is all the question required so let us dive in to this number. Now, I'm going to use the universal HTML. Let me call it HTML. Because you can use any package. You can use uh, uh, Expression Web. You can use the um, uh, WordPress. You can use the uh, Dreamweaver. You can use the uh, very many uh, web authoring software that you can use front page yeah uh, but for now for today if you don't have those software maybe you don't know them they are complicated for you to install and uh, you can use the normal notepad there's this version of notepad called notepad plus uh, plus i'm going to use the notepad plus uh, plus there's notepad and also the notepad plus they're almost the same only that this one is better at uh, writing code. So I'm going to do that. Now, when I'm going to do that, <coughs> I'm going to come to my folder here. And I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call it what the question tells me here. The question is telling me uh, using a both soft software. And then they are saying save your website as your name and personal number. So... I'm also going to come this folder here for the website and then I call it uh, Mukalele Rogers. Okay, if my personal number is, uh, is 125, uh, ah, that is it. So this is the, uh, the folder for the website. Okay, so the folder for website is inside the other folder for your neighbor 2022. For it again, it is a sub folder because the website is a collection of files. So all the files that we do, the web pages, the pictures, will all be inside that folder. Okay. Now I'm going to create the first page. The first page is saying um, home page. And when you are designing my website, I design the first page first. I design the first page very well. Then I duplicate the same to create all the other pages to save time. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to say file menu and then I click on uh, save as. Okay, so I'm going to click on uh, um, the home page. I'm going to say click on file menu 
and then I click on save as okay and then from here I can be able to go to the home page the home page is here and then I'm going to go to uh, my UNEB folder inside the UNEB folder I enter Mukalele Rogers and I call this one home okay I call this one home and uh, it is an HTML so I come down here and I select HTML HTML hypertext markup language okay yeah so after that I can come here and I say save okay so when I do that it will create for me my web page here uh, that I have created now learners are expected to know the structure of an HTML document HTML document has uh, what you call the opening HTML tag then there is the head tag and uh, inside the head tag we have the title so I say home page okay then inside the title I have to close my head okay and then I also have to close uh, uh, now I have to open the what the body Okay, then inside the body, uh, I'm, I'm, I'll be able to put there my content, which they are asking for. So in this case, <coughs> this number here, we are looking at scoring the marks that they need. So what are they asking us here? They are asking us to include the hotel name, hotel motto, and contacts. Okay, so I'm not going to waste much time. I'm just going to come and say... Um, a company, a developer website for a hotel. So, yeah, a company. So, I can choose any hotel name. Okay. So, I'm going to call this one. Uh, I'm going to call this one Shareability Hotel. So, I'm going to say heading one Shareability. Uh, welcome. Welcome to Shareability Hotel. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to have that is my heading. This is my body. This is my heading. So I can save this. So if I open, it's always good to do when you are opening side by side in a browser so that you see what you are doing. So I have welcome to shareability hotel. This is a heading one that I have done what? That I have put. Okay. Um, okay, so the, the question is saying the home page should have the hotel name so i put the hotel name the hotel motto so the hotel motto okay so i'm going to come here and i put um a paragraph okay so i'm going to say um i'm going to say um at, at okay so i'm going to say our motto have to give okay that is our motto yeah so this is the our motto have to give okay yes so that is the that is what i need there okay so what else do they need what else do they need on the home page they want a, a contact address okay so this paragraph i can decide to put it in 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 italic okay can make this in italic then i have this one here in bold okay so i have this one in bold okay so this is our motto and then this is it okay so like i said you first work on the home page so i have put our motto here is have to give which they asked me to put the examiner will be looking for the contact address if you want it so if, if you you should have it so I'm going to put also that in another paragraph and then I say bold our contacts okay okay so our contacts then I'm going to have um, uh, our contacts then I will put I can put a, a break okay then inside here I can say um, uh, put another bold and I say telephone okay 
تلفن 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 and then i say telephone then i say 0776 and uh, uh okay that is uh, my telephone i can put a break then i put another para uh, board and say email uh okay zero uh email is e-learning hotel i say hotel at Net. Okay, so that is the email address, and then I close my paragraph. So you see, this one here is a paragraph. It has, we have our contacts. The break makes the things to go on the next line. So if I do that, I'll be able to see here uh, my information here on my website, the motto, the contacts, email, and the telephone, which they have asked for. Here. So you find that uh, they have asked for this, and finally they have also asked for a bulleted list of services offered by the hotel. So a bulleted list, uh, we use the, uh, I can say heading two, our services, I can say services, services offered. Okay, so services offered um that is a heading two so they say the bulleted list so we are going to say a ul ul is a bulleted list then we have a list the first list item so list item so um what do we offer we offer uh we offer breakfast breakfast okay we offer breakfast uh, we offer uh, lunch, okay. Uh, we offer um, takeaway, okay. And then we also offer outside catering, okay. Okay, so I have that. Okay, so I have that, so that is my, so I can refresh here, and I will see services offered, and then there is a bulleted list here of services what offered. So uh, when I do that, I will be able to see uh, my services offered here uh, on my web page. Okay, so in the principle, if I'm an examiner marking this home page, I would see is there the title the title is here home page the name of the hotel is it there yes motor is it there yes contacts are they there services offered is it so i have my five marks i've done everything they have asked even if it is not a very beautiful colorful colors what no i've done what they have asked i have demonstrated and i've used it so i've got those marks of mine okay so that one is complete okay so now before you create these other pages this is what i advise you can think of you read through these other pages they will need this content so we shall just keep changing the content look at these other things there's this other part create active links for, for the entire website so before creating all these other pages let us first create those links the hyperlinks put the, the sweet background color and put graphics on our page before such that when we duplicate already those things are there we don't save waste time so the first thing that i'm going to look at what you do uh, for the sake of uh, part B here, create active hyperlinks for the entire website. So you come, you can come under here under the body before the heading one, and then we are going to put here our menu. So I'm going to put a paragraph, and then I say menu. Okay. So menu. Now on this menu, I will have my home. Okay. Home. Then I will have my um, home. Then I have what else? I have home. Employees. Employees. Okay. Employees. Uh, booking. Booking. 
okay then i have branches okay branches okay so i have branches there okay so i have that so this is the i'm putting this in a paragraph um okay so menu can be in a list item it can be in a paragraph so i'm putting this up this menu these points here are, are, this is what i want they are not hyperlinked yet so what i'm going to do i'm going to create hyperlinks so hyperlinks we create using the anchor tag so we say a href is equal to so we use this to hyperlink um words we use this to hyperlink so inside here i will put home dot html the name of the web page this name here the name of the web page that we created here the file name was home.html so you put that now for the other pages which we have not yet created let we can just decide what will be the page names we shall do we shall save in so you just copy and paste so where there is home we shall put employees meaning we shall create a web page called uh, employees then for booking we also you paste and then you say booking okay um then for branches uh you also say uh branches you see you paste uh then you change this to branches okay branches and then you also close the hyperlink so you do that you realize that in your menu you are having um you are having this kind of structure for your menu um for each of the the menu items i have a href home.html close a a href employees.html close a a href booking.html close a a href branch.html close a so you find that you have put your hyperlinks so all you left see the hyperlinks have come so what is left now is to just create the page. If I click on employees, it will say file not found because the page is not yet there, the file. But we have made already the hyperlink. So I've created the hyperlinks accordingly for, uh, for that. Um, I've created the hyperlinks already for, uh, for, that, uh, for, for that. Okay. So that is, the, that is the, a very good... Uh, that is something very good uh, that I have already created. Now, next question they asked. So this first part, create active links. We have done that. Apply a suitable background color. So I can put a background color on my website. I go to the body and I say big color. Okay, big color and I can say aqua. Okay. Aqua is one of the beautiful colors uh, that I can put. There are many other colors, so I put color. So shareability, these are, this is my color that I use, okay? Yeah, so I can say aqua, I can say lime. Mm. There, are very many, there are very many colors that you can use uh, on website. Uh, I can also use hex code Z, okay? So I think aqua is better, okay? Okay, aqua is better. So let me go with aqua. Okay, so let me go with that. Nice. Good. So I put a background color. What else are they asking? So I've got, now they are saying insert relevant graphics on your website. So for you to insert relevant graphics on the website, uh, we shall put, uh, yeah, we need, we can put some food. So where do we get the, the graphics? Graphics are normally found in, you can, you can have a clip at there clip art in your computer if you don't have clip art for me they have them here on, in, under my pictures if you don't have them if you have microsoft office even this new office of 2013 and above it is there only that they removed it from the menu so you click on program files there is x86 then in microsoft office then inside microsoft office uh you will be able to so this x86 if you go there and it's not there you go to program under program files local disk c you go to Microsoft Office, okay, and then you will find the root, and then you will find the clip art. So that is there, and then under public car, you'll be able to find the clip art there. So the clip art are there. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm doing a, a for a hotel, so I'm going to look for some jambula here. Hey, I'm looking for uh, some salad is here, some sumbosa here. Okay, so I can look for some some few uh, graphics. They have not told me to put a hundred or a thousand graphics. They've just said to put me to put some few graphics there. So I will just put a few um, a few of the graphics that I can be able to pick. Yeah, but they're in two categories. There are those which are these ones of WMF. They don't. They are not visible. But we have those of JPEG. Eh? We have those of JPEG here also. Eh, so you can be able to uh, check it through, and uh, you can be able to get some what, some graphics. Uh, I usually also get a, a photo for a house. Eh, most of the things that we do have houses. So. I can get some of these. Uh, I can get some of these uh, photos, and uh, I use them on my website uh, there. So, uh huh, this photo here. So I've selected all these photos. I'm copying them uh, from my clip art. So I go to my website, the folder, the website. So I go here, and then I paste my photos there. Okay, so as I press the photos, I will click on uh, view uh, view uh, large icons. Okay, extra large icons, so I can rename. I choose those ones I'm going to use. So I think I can use these ones here. I can choose this one. Okay, let me call this one lunch. Okay, this is lunch dot bmp. Uh, let me choose uh, this one. Uh, let me call this one uh, uh, snack. Okay, so you can call it. You can give them any names. Um, you can you can give them any names so that um, you can use it. So this is snack.bmp. Then I have some fruits here, also uh, fruits. Okay, I have here Kedo. I have Kedo. Okay, Kedo.jpg. Then I have this one here is Hotel. Hotel. Hotel.jpg. I think those are enough for me. Okay, so what I'm going to do on the home page, I'm going to put there the hotel. So I will come inside the here and then I say, um, I'm going to come and say, uh, I'm going to come and say, um, IMG SRC is equal to hotel dot JPG. Okay. Okay. So once I put that hotel dot JPG and I refresh, my hotel is going to come. You see? Welcome to Share Beauty Hotel, and I have my hotel there. If the photo is too big, it can be resized. But this is good enough for now. Okay, so that is nice. I've finished putting my photo. So I think I've finished uh, finished working on that. It's at very fun graphics. Add a logo for the hotel. Now, putting a logo, we normally use PowerPoint. So you can open PowerPoint, and then you create, um, you create uh, a shape. So this is the shareability hotel, okay. So I'm going to choose. Um, I'm going to choose. Uh, um, I'm going to choose something here, which I can use as my, as my uh, logo. Okay. So let me just use this action button here. You can choose anything. <laughs> so I'm going to choose this action button. Okay. You can choose any any, any image that you need. So I'm going to choose this, and then I choose um, I choose uh, for it uh, a color. Okay, so I have a shape fill, or I have these other ones here. I can choose any 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 of these colors here. Okay. Okay. So this is it. So I'm going to put also uh, word art. Okay. So I'm going to say. Uh, shareability hotel okay 
Mm. So this is my my logo. Uh, you can a logo can be anything simple. So this is my logo. Okay, so this is my logo. So I'm going to select this and this and then I group them. Okay? Group. Then after grouping, I can right click on it. I can I can right click on this and then I say save if save as picture so that I can save it as a picture so that I can use it. So I'm going to say uh, logo. Okay? So Shabito Hotel logo. So I save it on I save it on uh, in my folder here inside here and then I save it as there. Could even put a clip art there if I wanted I can I could put a clip art also. Let me there is a clip art here for a cup. <coughs> hey, there is a clip art uh, on the logo so I can get this cup here. Hey, I can get this cup uh or i can get this one here okay so let me get this one okay okay so i have this shareability hotel so let me also add that on my logo so that it is not yeah so let me add this also on my logo so i am going to now add this and this and i group this okay so i've added i've also added then i say save as picture and then i'm going to save it on the desktop and i call it logo and then i replace that one okay so when i do that uh, i will have my logo so the logo has to be simple you can add like a clip art on 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 on, on a shape you think of any any and then you come up with that so i have my logo here which is a very good one and um i can now go ahead and uh, i insert my logo okay so i'm going to say um here uh shareability hotel so i'm going to put a header so for me to put my logo uh, beside my na the name of my company i'm going to come here uh, uh, below the menu okay and I'm going to use a, a table. Okay, a table. A table is going to help me to put uh, my my things beside beside each other. So I'm going to say Tara. Then I'll put TD. Okay. So here I'll put the logo. Okay. Then I'll put another Tara. Then I'll put here shareability what? Shareability hotel. Okay. Yeah, so I'll have shareability hotel. Shareability hotel. Okay, so uh TR. So this shareability hotel is the I can make it be a paragraph or I can just change its font. So I can say font, font color is equal to, font color is equal to uh, red, okay, then I say face is equal to, uh, so let me say comic sans ms, okay, so Comic Sans MS is one of the fonts. If you go to, uh, if you go to uh, PowerPoint here, uh, you can check any any of the fonts. We have several fonts here. There is the Comic Sans. Uh, there are very many others. So you, you can choose. You can choose any. There is Broadway. Mm? Yeah, so you can choose any of those fonts. So I have Comic Sans MS. Okay. So I have uh, font. Okay, so I'll do all this in the home page. The rest of the pages will not take time. So I have comics first. First is Comic Sans MS. And then I have my shareability hotel. So I have this. And then I have here my logo. My, my, my logo. I'm going to say IMG. IMG. 
uh, SRC is equal to then I'm going to uh, put my logo dot png okay so I have uh, my image which is the closing so I have my TD and then I have another TD this is supposed to be another TD okay the second TD is having the 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 the, 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 the name of the hotel okay okay so I have this so in case I, after doing that I will see that okay, so I have I have this shareability hotel and my logo is down there I think I put them below okay so I'm going to try to resize them so this is my table and uh, I should close my table okay so I have my table there the logo here I can make the width be small with this with this is equal to 500 5 px okay okay so this is the 100 we made it 100 px and uh, I'm there okay so I have this this is my logo and this is uh, the brand name okay so this is really something that can make learners to appreciate <laughs> size increase the font size to 12 okay so putting this size 12 is going to make my 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 name here so I, I can actually decide to put this whole thing at the top uh, I can decide to put the whole thing at the top so I'm going to put this whole thing of the table this table here is my my header uh, this table is, is my header so I'm going to put this under the the body okay nice so I have that so I have Shabiti hotel and then I have my menu so just like that I have finished my website I can actually also go to the bottom and I put there a footer or I can put there a marquee uh, depending on what I want I can put a marquee and I say uh, website designed by Rogers Mukalele Mukalele uh, 102 so you realize that if you are to do a plain HTML, you need to know very well all the HTML codes and uh, time. Yeah, you are doing everything yourself. But if you are doing using web authoring software like WordPress, uh, it can be a bit faster. But you can see my home page is done. So before you create the other pages, make sure the home page is okay. The hyper the menu is there. The 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 shared banner mm, is there and uh, in everything is there the color everything is fine now let us create the other pages now so to create the other pages I already I created them in the menu here so I'll just come and I select uh, the first page here that they said they said we should create um, we should create employees so I'll just come and say file menu and I say save as and then I say uh, employees.html, okay? So I save that, okay? So I'll create employees.html, then this is going to be employees, okay? Employees, okay? So that's going to be employees, okay? And uh, all these other things will be removed. All these other things, the content of the page, I can leave the marquee but this other middle content is removed okay so if I come and I click on employees you see employees is there the marquee is down and then the heading employees okay uh -huh. then I'm going to save file save as and then I create another one I create another one I call it in I call it in, uh, the next page is called the um, uh, booking okay booking 
booking.html okay i also save that okay this is going to be booking okay then finally i have branches so uh i'm going to have branches okay so file menu save as and then i'll create uh, branches dot html also so at this time i have all the five all the four pages so you have home uh home page uh home page which is that one employees booking branches this last one is branches and it is also the only that i have not yet changed the word here branches okay save so i have uh, uh employees booking branches home page at this time i have a lot of marks hyperlinks are working all the pages have created them so what i need to do now is to go to each of the other pages so in notepad plus plus you can actually come and say open folder as worker space so that you can easily be uh you can easily be selecting uh your so i can select this folder and then it will bring it here uh, on the side here so that they can easily switch between any page so now what i am left with is to grab some marks from the rest of the numbers the rest of down logo is done everything down is done so the only thing that we need to do is uh employees they want to include a table of current employees and their contacts so i will just go uh under under the employees the html okay then of course i have to change here the the, the title should always change uh, so the title should always change there up then i come down in here i create my table so i need now no more time for wasting everything you do you just do very fast and uh, you just put what now the remaining what content okay so i have a table a table has uh, what you call um a table table uh you can give it a uh, um, border is equal to one okay cell padding cell padding i can give is equal to zero and uh, also cell spacing cell spacing is equal to zero so it's always good to, to put a uh, cell spacing zero and cell padding zero so that your your table looks like a real table okay then inside the table we can put our um, we can put our 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 tr okay so what are they wanting here they want us to have a table of current employees and their contacts okay so we are going to have uh tr then we are going to have td td is the column so so i say a name and then we have what contact so they have not told us to put a hundred they have not told us to put a hundred uh, employees they have only told us to what um they have only told us to 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 they have only told us to to put a few so this first one can be a th this one the first one can be a th because it is a, a table header uh, so this first one can be a th okay then i have this so i copy this then i paste so this is going to be a td so this second one is going to be a td and then the other first one was a th so you should know a th is a table header and then the other table data so i'm on the employees page so i have this um this is what i have right now name and then contact this is the table that i'm creating down here okay so the first person is mukalele rogers and the contact is 0770 okay so i have that okay so that is the first person here so i copy the entire tr i paste i can put there another person 
Najua the piece. Okay. Then I put there 075. Okay. So I have that. So do you can put just a few. Okay. I can put another one. Talunga. Prim. Okay. So I finished that number. Like I said, once you do the home page, that number is done. So you just change the contact, the content down here. All the rest of the things you did them on the home page. So the question was asking for uh, current employees and their contacts. Full stop. Finished. Next, I'm going to go to the booking, an online booking form for customers. So this is the include name, address, gender, room type, type of payment, and then a submit what? A submit button. Okay, so this is the booking. So I'm going to go to the booking page. Okay. So the booking page, I come down in here. So I can say form. So this one, they want a form. Okay. So form, we use input. Then you say type is equal to text. So it depends on on, 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 on which kind of input you, you need. So I'm going to use break. I'm going to use breaks. So I'm going to say um, paragraph. So what do I need here? So they, they said an online booking form uh, for customers include name, address. So let me just say name. Okay. Name. Okay, let me just use paragraph. So I'm going to use the name, then I put there the input, type is equal to what? To text. So if I do that, uh, the whole of this is going to be inside my what? My form. Okay. So if I do that uh, on the booking page, you realize that I will have name, then I have the what? The, 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 the space for me to put the name. Okay. So. So I can put there something here and I say fill in the form to make a booking. Okay. So what is the question saying? The question is saying put the name. Uh, what else are they asking for? We are just going to duplicate that. So they want name, address, gender. So name. So I just copy these two. Okay, then I come say address. Okay. Okay. Then he, they want gender. Okay. So they want gender. Uh, then they say room type. Okay. So you have room type. Okay. So you have room type. Uh huh. Then what else do they want? Uh, they want a uh, type of payment. So you have type of payment. Okay. So these guys seem they also offer accommodation. So you have type of payment, and then the submit button. Okay. So we shall have submit button so for the submit button we just remove this and we say type submit okay finished yeah but uh we need to change some of these input types for example the one for gender instead of saying uh, text we could say radio and then we we we, we give uh, the options eh? then you can put a uh, uh, female Okay, then you repeat the same um, for male. Yeah, you can actually put uh, female and then you put male. Okay. Yeah, so you can have that. And uh, in this case, you can say, you can give it a name so that um, 
the 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 the, the radio button is appeared uh, so the radio button is appeared okay so if i click on that i should be able to see under booking i have my gender female male if i switch it can go to to female and if i go to whatever it goes to male okay yeah so i have something like that and um that is good enough so i have uh, gender then i have my gender there then i have the the, the the room type text type of payment they have given options i could use the select this is um, the drop down so i have select okay this is the drop down and then inside there i can be able to put uh, option inside the select so they have given us some selects they have said cash credit card mobile money so i'll have cash okay okay so this is the first option so i have cash uh then i have a credit card and then mobile money so i have credit card and then i have mobile money so as you can see um okay unlike other numbers this one i've done it completely make sure that uh you can be able to understand so i have select uh option there and uh, if i go and i refresh my work i'll be able to see uh select here see credit card mobile money if someone can select okay so after doing that selection i can be able to put um a break so that my thing is go the next line okay so basically that is what they wanted here cash credit card mobile and submit button then finally they asked for the branches include the names of hotel branches in other areas and uh, they we were free to use any element so i can come here and i say uh I can say uh, our branches so i can say paragraph we have branches in okay i can this time use uh, an ordered list order list then which is numbered then i put a list item <coughs> uh, i can say ginger okay so we have branches in ginger where else uh so we have in ginger we have in kampala and uh, we have in Entebbe. finished they never told me to do put a hundred of them so basically you can see this is the uh complete web design number our branches are there uh, this is a, a complete uh, attempt of the web design number from scratch. I've done it in 50 minutes, yet I'm also explaining. So, which means it is possible for me to do it in what? In 40 minutes. And um, if you look at the examination, that is the time actually that you have. You can do uh, section B numbers 40 minutes each. Uh, then uh, section A numbers. Uh, you also do like in uh, 30 minutes each so you end up with the uh, two hours and 20 minutes the paper is two hours and 30 minutes so you'll be able to have some time and if you can do like the ex uh, like the excel number in 10 minutes and uh, the word number in the, if you can do section a in a shorter time then you will have more time to section b yes yeah, so you could have like out of two and a half hours one hour section a and then one and a half section b so so i've completed all the numbers i've put uh, some of the things i could put some more pictures if i want if i wanted more pictures on um uh on maybe the home page okay i could just go down there and i put in my my pictures mm -hmm. let me just put the uh, fruits SRC is equal to fruit uh, 
.jpg. Okay, so I can put. Okay, could put some fruits there and others. Uh, so I could do Im image. You don't close image. You don't close. Uh, image you don't close you just put yeah so if you put correctly yeah you can see my fruit has come down here okay so um to print your work uh, as the question said print your work um it is down in here print all your web pages you have to just go to file menu and then you click on uh, print and uh, there you can be able to get what called a print preview which is going to preview your work. So you print from the, you print from the browser, uh, you print from the browser. So it's going to bring a, a print preview, and uh, you can even put what you call the header footer still also from here. So you can see I have my printer, and then I can do it to print my work. Okay. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I uh, will be doing this number tomorrow using WordPress. Uh, I'll be doing this number tomorrow using WordPress also so that you can be able to see which one can be faster because WordPress can help you to do some of the things without coding everything but also you can also code where you need because WordPress allows switching between code and design so I'll also be doing that uh, because I said use any web authoring software I hope this one is uh, good for members thank you for listening God bless you